everyone, it's Melody Lane, and today I'm going to show you how to make a split image. I'm going to go to Insert Images. Now, I did do this. I showed you how to make a split monogram, but I want you to know you can split any image you want. You can do letters, all different kinds of letters. It doesn't have to be the regal font. I'm going to do a shamrock for St. Patrick's Day. So I'm just going to search shamrock. Okay, and this is what comes up. And I think I really like this shamrock. I don't want the rainbow, but I'm going to go ahead and install this one. Okay, now to get this shamrock, we're going to ungroup it. And I think it's attached. Yes, it is. So we're going to move this out of the way. And I'm going to put a box around all of these so it grabs those and just hit the X. Easy as pie. Now, to get rid of this part of the rainbow, I'm going to go over here to the Layers panel. It says Layers here. It's highlighted Layers. And I'm going to hit Contour. And then click the rainbow and click some anywhere else on the screen. Doesn't matter where. And there, it's gone. So now we have the shamrock. And I want to rotate it. I want to kind of stand up and be even that way. And let's move the scale down here. Because I wanted to put the grid on and I can't see it. So if you can't see it or get to it, move these little things here. There's one on the bottom and one on the side. So you can click that to get the grid lines. Now I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this. Actually, let's make it a little bigger just so you can see it better. Okay, and I also need a rectangle. I'm going to exit out of that. I'm going to show you, I always like to go to the free cartridges. So if I'm going to share this with a friend, if they don't own that shamrock with the rainbow, they may have to buy that. I think that is included in the subscription. I'm going to go over here to craft. But these are free to everybody. So you can share this image with everybody. You could split any of these. You could split this and maybe do something for a baby shower or something, or the butterfly, or the little ducky. We're going to go ahead and just use this one. make it smaller. Now I want to make it thinner this way so I have to unlock the lock here. Make that go up. First, you know what, I'm going to just go ahead and take that and duplicate that. So I'm going to do something different over here on this side. Okay, but I'm going to make that go up and then longer. Doesn't really matter. I can make it as thin as I want it. And I'm going to take this. I'm going to hit my command key because I have a Mac. If you're on a PC, you can hit the control or the shift key and then click this. So it selects both of those. You can see I only have two images selected. Okay, and I'm going to hit slice and pull this away. Pull that away. So now I sliced them, but I can't separate them. So let me duplicate this. And make this bigger. Pull it down so it covers the whole bottom. And I'm going to hit my command key or control key and so click them both. Make sure they're both selected and you can slice. There. Now we can just delete this. And now we can lower this. And we could put a name inside there. Or we could like say good luck or anything you want. Okay, now there's another way to do it also. I'm going to take this, I'm going to duplicate this. Some people like to have it with, let's unlock this, two lines, separating them to put the name in. So 
I'm going to go ahead and weld this in. So I'm going to select this, hit my command and select that, and click weld. Okay, so now I'm going to take this, let's move it to the top, and unlock it. So we're going to make this thinner and wider than that line there. Okay, now we're going to slice this one. So I'm going to hit Command and this again and slice. Make sure there's two images selected. Move those out of the way. Now I need a bigger image. I should have duplicated it. Okay, get this back again. that over that and we're going to do the same thing and slice. And there. Now we have it with the two lines if you like that look. You can do this with any single image you like. You can do it with letters, words, whatever you want. It's really simple. Alright, that's it for today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. And here's a shout out to a few of my supporters on Patreon. Thanks for watching, everyone. Love you all. Bye. Ian Garland, Tabitha Carroll, Jamie Molina, Trish Shapelin, Esther Carver, Susan Peters, Beth Case, Ellen McQueen, and Carla Brosnan. Thanks, everyone.